Hey guys, welcome to episode 32 of Techno News. Really appreciate all the support. It does mean a lot. Uh, I know I've sort of been out of the scene for the last week or so, but I'll explain all that in a minute. Um, if you wouldn't mind letting this video play through to the end, it'd be very much appreciated. And if you wouldn't mind watching one or two of my other videos as well, be, I'd be very grateful. I am trying to push towards the viewing hours targets for YouTube monetization. So if you wouldn't mind helping me do that, be very grateful. Thank you. Remember to hit the sub button. Um, we are pushing for the thousand. Hit the thumbs up on the video. Ring the bell for alerts so you get notifications of new content. And leave a comment or even your favourite emoji in the comments just for engagement. It'd be very much appreciated. So if you follow my socials, X and TikTok at Technofish Live, you'll get further updates from there. And I am looking to get back on the live stream most nights from around 10 o'clock. Uh, if you want to pop by and say hi and have a chat about this or any of my other videos, you'd be more than welcome to do so. Thank you. Yeah, as I mentioned, I sort of struggle getting on the live streams. I've had a few issues with OBS and my computers and stuff. Um, but as well as that, I've had uh, my daughter over for the best part of the week, um, with it being the school holidays. Uh, so I've been spending a bit of time with the family, trying to get my head around where I want the channel to go. And looking forward to making the push towards the next objective. So thank you very much. I do really appreciate all the support. In the meantime, let's head over to the news. Firstly, apparently, Sony have announced due to failing to meet expectations the PS5 is set to enter its second half of life or end of life cycle. Um, no major exclusive releases have been planned for the remainder of this year or next year apparently. Game wise that is, obviously there will still be some big titles coming out but none of the first person exclusives. There is still rumoured release of the PS5 Slim or Pro model or whatever it is. Um, so whether that affects things or not I don't know. Um, they did state that it was due to poor sales figures of the console itself. So why they're thinking of releasing another model is beyond me. But be interesting to find out what happens with that. Uh, similarly, Nintendo have reportedly pushed back the release of the Switch 2 console to... 25. This is to do with getting a better launch catalogue of games together so it's, it's got a strong lineup ready to go. I'm sort of on the fence with the Nintendo thing, I don't know. Um, I own a Switch but I barely use it, like it very very rarely gets the light of day. It's just, to me I can sort of see why they do it because of the games they want to make. But in this day and age, with technology being the way it is and the way games are sort of work now, they really need to sort of pull the the boots up a bit and do something with the hardware because it was really lacking the Switch, and I've got a feeling this one's going to be far behind. If we're talking about the PlayStation Six and the new Xbox coming within the next four or five years. I can see this one being so far behind again. It's going to be pretty much worthless. But um, obviously they do still make quality games. If you like that, that side, side of things. The Zeldas and things like that. Um, I can see the draw. But surely. If they concentrated more on. The software. They would get a lot more audience. If they sort of brought it out multi-platform, but I kind of see that happening. But it'll be interesting to see what happens, both with the PlayStation and the Nintendo, um, in the next year or two, see where it goes, see if Xbox make an announcement. Um, nothing's really been mentioned yet. Though there was that chat they had um, on the podcast last week where they were announcing some of the games were coming cross-platform, there's some of the old exclusives. They said that the new stuff, um, Starfield Indian stuff, is still going to remain as exclusives. It's all the games they're trying to bring across to different platforms. I've got a feeling Sea of Thieves will probably be one of them with the launch of Skull and Bones or whatever. Uh, try and get some more players onto that from different platforms. I can sort of see that working. Whether it'll be to the figures they want to see or not, I don't know. Um, but again, it's it's sort of a strange time for game. 
I think Xbox are sort of trying to do more from the sounds of that podcast it seems they want to do more along the streaming side of things like the the service xbox live or whatever you want to call it game pass i think that seems to be quite a big focus which is a bit of a, a strange one but obviously we'll see how things pan out they just want to get the games in everybody's hands and if you're playing on tablets there's rumors there's going to be apps on even tvs um built in um to stream the games it could be interesting, but whether it works or not, I don't know. Um, speaking of stronger games, Helldivers 2 continues to do well. Um, it does look really good fun, to be fair. Um, I am intrigued and I, I am considering giving it a go at some point, because it, it does look good fun. Um, so we'll maybe have to give that a, a look. Hopefully that that may come on the PlayStation free games or whatever. Um, I'll have to have a look at that when that happens. That's, that could be good. Um, on the other end of the scale, though, Suicide Squad continues to fail. Um, it's not garnering any support at all. Uh, recent, it's had server issues uh, where people are having login problems, persistent login problems. Uh, with the servers and the it's scary because when i look the on steam there's only around a thousand players playing it and this is a game that was released this month um if they're having issues with a thousand users what would it have been like if it did take off and sales were good um I've, i'm sort of uh, lost for words really a thousand users on steam playing this game for a new game it's just crazy i mean to put that into perspective when you look the likes of arkham knight is still pulling in over two thousand like double that and that's a game that's been out for years uh markham city doing better with around 1300 users and even the original asylum there's about 900 players on that on steam at the minute it's really worrying i mean it, it sort of biggest belief as to why they went ahead and made a, a live service looty shooter what no one really asked for when all they really want is more arkham um i don't get it but maybe that's just me let us know what you think in the comments down below and another game well another statement should i say it uh kotaku claim that single player games are dead but they used as an example the immortals of avium which again i don't really understand as the game was a flop um the state of the year had the team lay off half of its workforce due to poor sales and uh, could talk cite the need for triple a games to rely on microtransactions live service elements things like that to try and generate more income to keep the game alive why they picked this game, I don't know, because it was a pretty poor game in general. It's not because solo player games are failing, it's because this was an awful game. Um, it looked like a Destiny rip-off um, with magic instead of guns and stuff. Um, but the story wasn't compelling from what I gather. The gameplay wasn't great, the mechanics were poor. For them to then say that single player games are dead i mean all you have to do is even look at even further EA releases dead space and star wars survivor do, doing exceptional recently um elden ring other games like that's like the statement couldn't be further from the truth i don't know why they came up with this i don't know if they're just trying to get clout or what but it's absolutely ridiculous following on from that with the like talk about the redundancies and things like that um ubisoft france are having issues at the minute with 700 members of their workforce out on strike um mainly due to not being able to negotiate pay disputes um uh, pay offers lower than inflation and things like that much like everybody else in the world at the minute um hopefully they can resolve this sooner rather than later and come to terms because as we know 
as we've seen in the past, the French people are good at protesting, uh, so we don't really want that to escalate. And similarly, Bando and Amka have cancelled five unannounced games, so it won't affect the likes of the DLC for Elden Ring, and I'm guessing it won't affect the likes of Tekken, Dragon Ball Z, and other franchises they have as well. They're stating that it's due to sort of becoming more ruthless with taking games to full development following concept, which is fair enough. Hopefully it'll ensure that we get better quality games at the end of it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. Hopefully there won't be further layoffs and things, and it's just a matter of they just sort of quality control as such. Lastly, Respawn are rumoured to be working on a new Star Wars FPS possibly based around the Mandalorian. I don't think it's going to be the actual Mandalorian from the show. I think it's just going to be a Mandalorian, um, possibly based on sort of like the old Bounty Hunter game that was out a long time ago. Um, could be sort of following on from that. With that and the Outlaws game that's coming out and the third instalment of The Survivors, Things are looking quite good for Star Wars games in the near future, actually, um, which is good. Same about the films and stuff, but hopefully they can sort that shit out as well behind the scenes. But, yeah, the games-wise, it's looking quite good. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments, anything I've mentioned here. Um, as I said, I, I do apologise for not sort of being around on my lives as much. I have been trying to keep the content coming. But the lives have took a bit of a hit this last week. Um, but I am looking to get back on there. If you see us go live um, on YouTube Gaming, pop by, have a chat about this uh, gaming in general, any of my videos, whatever you want to talk about, uh, come by, be very much appreciated. And like I said, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on this video, leaving a comment if you could. And ringing the bell for alerts for going live in the future. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.